I lost the part. Hello, Lane Gentry again for Board Shitless. Volume 2. Lesson 2. Again, I'm often asked, besides the basketball, besides the Cindy Crawfords of the world, what else do you do? Well, while being bored shitless isn't quite a hobby, it can be. Dressing up is one way I like to be bored shitless. Get a pair of your favorite sunglasses and do what I do as I do it. Now, as a young man, I was employed. by a company called McDonald's. Although I wasn't as bored then at McDonald's as I am in this eight wide trailer, I often thought about the situation then. Now, rehashing that situation, I like to remember the fond memories of McDonald's, like Lane, get your ass over here and do something. They're like that at McDonald's. Or toasting buns was one of my favorites. Putting down four or five trays of french fries was often exciting and enjoyable, you know. Uh, not just to mention that it was work for a 15 and 16 year old person. Uh, creating those fries for snow skiing for the blind. Uh, one of my fondest memories. Uh, you know, again, you're never alone as long as you have your mind. Or at least you think you have your mind as long as you think you do you can have people in it. It's your mind. Who cares? But seeing those kids going down the hill, running into things, was amusing. I just can't imagine how funny that would be to take my video camera and tape Skiing for the Blind. That, you know, that there alone now, for me, could occupy me for 30, 40 minutes, maybe. If you accumulate time, you're not as bored. While doing these mind game things, excuse me, my head's coming, there we go, coming out. While doing these mind things, and again, shooting baskets in the trash against Kareem, Magic, Sean Kemp, whoever, whomever your favorite player might be. It's very exciting to think of past experiences. McDonald's came to mind. I enjoyed McDonald's for the two and a half months I worked there. And being yelled at constantly and having a greasy face was not being bored. And having people tell you what to do was definitely not being bored because you couldn't get bored. They told you what to do. Putting things in your face. Excuse me, I need to get some props. Again, boredom is as boredom does. Sticking things into different places can have a definite impact on your boredom life. 
I often think of myself as a saber-toothed tiger with sticks sticking out his ear. And you can eat your props. You don't drop them first. Incorporated into lesson number two is going to be lesson 2A. Excuse me. I'm chewing. I might be a bored person, but I don't like to open my mouth and chew simultaneously. Try saying that while you're chewing. Lesson 2A is talking to yourself through the video. That way, visually and audibly, you're talking to somebody you can't be bored. What I often like to do is start a tape something like this. Well, hey, how was your day today? <laughs> you did what? <laughs> What would you like for dinner tonight? Really? Well, okay. We'll do it. We want popcorn later? Okay. Sounds festive. Or, excuse me, would you like the remote control? Here you go. Again, fest are included in this situation. Talking to a pet while he's bored is one of my favorite opportunities. He also likes to act like a saber-toothed tiger just like everyone else. If you get a prop, or in this case, food, he'll share in the warmth of eating it. Although he is very picky, he likes the saber-toothed tiger teeth. See? How can you be bored with somebody spitting food all over your chest? So, if you look that way, I can sign this off and make a fortune off people that are bored shitless. Thank you. Remember, all this is tax-deductible by the Schizophrenic People's Society of America. Goodbye.